Hi, and welcome to Project Red Time. We're here today to solve an issue and to bet on humanity. We have a technology that Nic Nicholas Eckerberry is going to be showing. I'm Talbot Howard. This is Nicholas Eckerberry, CEO, Jane Ford, Public Relations, and Michael Green, Chief Technology Officer. Thank you for tuning in. So this is this is sea salt. Okay, now we're going to add some algae as a algae algae food, and it smells horrible. I can I can imagine the smell the poor people in the in the Tampa as this stuff decays by their restaurants and hotels. Let's give it a quick stir and let it sit. No, That's actually really close to the right situation. Yeah. The tide is actually starts way off the coast, maybe a mile off, where, wherever the stream of, of phosphates and, and, and nitrates from the, from the uh, lake has been dumped. That follows a current and it goes out there and then it comes into Tampa. The whole concept of what we're doing is nail it out there. But what we're going to do now is actually just destroy it. Okay, now we've got to add some water. Yeah, we want to bring it up to about this nice and covered place. Turn the fan thing off thing because thing. we're going to have a lots of chlorine in a minute. So, so right now, we just turned the unit on, we're producing, basically we're dissociating the NaCl and we're creating chlorine. As you can see right now, we're basically bleaching the algae, but we're doing it without adding chlorine, we're creating chlorine from nature itself. And if you let it sit for a minute, the chlorophyll sinks to the bottom and this water will be crystal clear. In fact, it'll be so clear you'll think it's totally drinkable. So I've done this multiple times. So we have a good process, an effective solution, and we look forward to seeing you in Tampa.